what is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video today we are going to take a look at spider-man the new suit my goodness it is glorious and you can still pre-order this at bigbadtoystore.com i'll put the link down below waking up in this beautiful morning i'm here in chicago it's, it's beautiful outside it's it's really early because my body's still adjusting you know i normally wake up at 3 30 not normally but lately because of time clock changes and it works in my favor because lately they've been dropping this absolute killer with hot toys and spider-man this is from the no way home the last scene it, you we probably saw this for a good i don't know a minute maybe not even a minute maybe like 40 seconds or something and he was really blurry he was swinging around boy let me tell you this is the best head sculpt and I know we say this for the most part, but we, we're coming off Mace Windu here, right? So yeah, so you gotta forgive my uh, enthusiasm here. Uh, best head sculpt of, of Tom Holland from Hot Toys, at least, absolute best. And it comes with a rolling eyeball system, which makes it even better. The collar piece, we finally see his neck. You know, I, I'm, we're assuming that will be the case because that's always been the case for Spider-Man. Not the turtleneck, uh, but this is the first of those. The suit itself, even though I, I, I don't know about the metallic blue. Maybe it is really metallic blue. I, I don't know. I, I would have I would have preferred if it's not too shiny, you know, like. But in this picture right here, it looks pretty good. Like it's not a shiny, just weird. Maybe it's just the picture, you know, maybe he used like harsh lighting. This one, you know, it, it shows the shine as well. Kind of reminds me of uh, Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, which is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing by, by any means. I'm just saying it, it reminds me of the amazing Spider-Man suit. The diorama piece is a killer as well. As you can see from photography wise, you don't need to capture it from afar. From certain angles, it could create an illusion where you are in a larger scale, you know, like you are on top of, on top of a rooftop, on a brick building where Spider Man normally hangs out, you know, because he's always above. But boy, the hair looks great. I know on the initial pictures he looks kind of older, and then they revised it to make him look a little bit younger. I mean, Tom Holland is not old, but it's also not that young. Uh, but at the same time, what is he in his late, mid-20s, maybe? You know? So, still a relatively young guy, uh, at least compared to me. Uh, so, for me, he's young. But it looks great, man. How many... I, I gotta check myself into rehab. Like, I literally have to ask myself, how many Spider-Mans and Batman does a person need? Like, I just had uh, Batman. I had uh toby spider-man and now i'm excited for this i mean they're two different spider-mans Let, let's be honest here if we're being uh if we're trying to reason out to ourselves that's not going to happen but this is you know, the, the different spider-man than toby i do have a few tom holland though but it, they're just so fun to collect that's that's the bottom line for this they're, they're just so much fun and then you get a figure like this where Sure, maybe it's not, you know, he didn't use it as much in the movie. But what you are getting is a classic representation of Spider-Man. And not only that, with a a pretty good base. A base that you could use in more than one. I mean, you could use that for Batman as well. Where he's, oh my God, we're talking about Batman again. Uh, when he's in the rooftop. Maybe change the setting tonight, you know, a little bit darker. You could use it for Batman uh, you know, you could use it for Daredevil, maybe the Crow, you know, situations like that. So for sure, the base is a huge selling point. Uh, I would say the actual suit is a bonus for me because classic wise, I kind of have like a few. So this doesn't stand out too much, but combined with the base and the head sculpt and the neck piece, which they finally got right. Uh the accessories, the webs, I mean, that's what you normally would expect to a typical Spider-Man, you know. So there's nothing groundbreaking to that. But the head sculpt being this good, 
the only downside, ah, I wouldn't say downside because the the neck is separated from the head sculpt. So perhaps I I'm not sure if this is possible. I don't have the figure yet. I hope we could use that head sculpt. Let's say to uh put on the integrated suit, for example. So you would have uh, a better slash upgraded head sculpt in that manner, you know. So I I do hope that would be the case for him because man, this head sculpt is too good to be left in the box. If I get him, which I will get him. The question is when, when I get him, he'll be displayed with a head sculpt. I have enough Spider-Man in a mask so I could get away with this guy with a head sculpt off, regardless if you say this is movie accurate or not. I mean, movie accuracy is like, again, 40 seconds. It's just the, the piece that ties it all up the head sculpt. That's what you're buying here. And the price is not bad for the deluxe version. The price, I mean, the base itself, if I'm basing it off the Batman that I just received, which is phenomenal, by the way, that base, if, if it's comparable to that base, I'll be totally happy. It, it, for the looks of it, it does. It's like a perfect size for a display, which is, it's not massive, but it's also not small. You know, it's not undersized as well. I mean, it's it's just good enough, in my opinion, to and and you, you got to get that sweet spot that it is displayable. It doesn't take too much space, but at the same time, it has an impact. And photography wise, I can tell you from this blogger photos, I I, I got inspired by that that base. I'm telling you, if you put it on the right position, it will make a difference. But yeah, let me know in the comments, man. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'm sure most of you guys, this is not going to be your first Spider-Man. But with that being said, with a combined VGM, the Spider-Man 2 video game, uh, the No Way Home, can you really justify getting another Spider-Man? I, I mean, I could. I don't need to convince myself. I'm just asking here because my rationale here is what I told you. And then the next one is that if we are waiting for the next Toby suit, when is that going to be? I mean, tell me, uh, Garfield suit. When is that going to be? I don't even think they're in production for the next Spider-Man. So we're looking at, at a minimum three, four years, if not five, six here. Because by the time the movie comes out, we'll wait a year or two, and then it comes out. In the meantime, I will enjoy the Spider-Man. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.